Hey there, welcome to another video. If you have skipped the first chapter, um, this is the second chapter where we will start building our app. So I try to explain everything possible as a beginner to you how to build app and how everything works around Shopify. If you find something easy, um, just skip it because some people are beginner and they try to understand uh, behind the scene of how the Shopify ecosystem and how the app is going to work. So I'll start by creating our first app using Shopify CLI in this video and also um, we will run the app and see how it works. Um, let's start. Uh, we'll start from the app section uh, which we navigated in the previous video around documentation and how everything is set up around. From here you are going to create um, a, re a new app and you are going to go to this website. It might be a bit confusing of what Shopify CLI is and if you install this globally and um, it happened for me too. When you install Shopify CLI it will create the project and that will run only for that project. So at the time of this recording it is on version 3. So I'm going to create an app and it is going to run Shopify CLI on that directory for me. So for now, you see um, there is a developer tool, CLI, you can come here and go to the overview. Um, you can find everything in here, including the common reference, which commands are available. If I come to the common reference, it should take me here. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, they have put that in a new page. So if you go here, these are all the commands you have. For the topic of the app, you have the comment of dev, info, general extension, um, function build, and so on and so forth. We will talk about each of them in this video series, but for now, um, this is where you can find all the information about Shopify CLI. If you have previously created an app with the version 2, you can check the migration or existing app and also the continuous integration. Let's go back to getting started creating an app. From here, um, this is where you start. You have a few options of using npm, yarn, or um, pnpm. So I'm going to record this video live and I might make mistakes. I'm not going to edit them and take them out because you should not think, oh, everything is working so smooth for you. Why do I get an error? Why I cannot create this um, app? Why and this issue is happening for me? So I'll fix them on the video so everything will be uh, transparent. Let's just start create, creating the app. Um, this is npm yarn. I personally like creating it using yarn because it is faster. Let's start with npm. No problem. If yours does not have yarn, let's start with npm. And I will bring the item here. Currently I'm on the desktop. Let's create a folder. I will um, make dir and I'll call it app dev. And cd app dev. Inside this directory, we are going to store all of our app. So let's run the command that we have copied npm init Shopify. When we run this, it's going to install the Shopify CLI in here and using the Shopify create app. Now it says, do you want to run the create app? I say yes for why. And it is going to take some time to download all the packages and create the directory for us. So let's wait a few seconds. While this is doing the work, um, I have to explain a few other things. When you install Shopify CLI, you have to log in in the CLI. So since I am currently logged in, it might not ask for the login details, but I will log out and show you how you can log in again. Now you will put your project details in here. For example, I will call it wishlist um, inspire, something like this. You can call it anything since you are creating a wishlist app. That is what I would name. In real life, you will have your own app. You will have your own um, structure for the app. You already probably wrote all the requirement for it. So let's go and create the app. In the next step, it is going to ask how you want the app to have a template. The Shopify comes with a few templates like Node.js, PHP. Uh, for PHP, it is using Laravel. Um, for Node.js, it will go with the React or Remix. Since Shopify purchased Remix, it is going to recommend you to use Remix because they have a lot of good um, documentation for it. Now from here, you can also go with creating an um, extension first. Extension is just a basic uh, extension for Shopify. We will talk more about this. Uh, you can create an app that doesn't have a backend and it can 
is run alone with the software infrastructure that's called extension we will talk more about this but for now let's go with the remix and create the app uh, from languages i will go with joyscript not the typescript so it should ask those two questions and it should create the app and uh, the other thing you have to know is like if you want to start with the react you can also pass the template so if i scroll down a little bit and um, they have some other like templates if you click in this link it will take you to some other templates for example uh, express with um, react they do have it remix which is the default ruby they have a template for ruby and also php if you go to the php again it will be the same technique but this is a laravel project that run inside the web directory if you are a php developer you can see that this project this folder structure is very familiar with you okay i'll go back and let's go with the express and um, previously when i created some of my app it was with express and next.js and uh, not next.js sorry with the pure react and um node.js in here this is the folder structure it has some basic uh, structure and basic uh, template for the for the app the the thing that you can do is you can pass the template if you want to pick a template if you don't want to go with the remix you could uh, just pass the template but i don't remember where they mention it in the documentation probably somewhere in the developer references uh, in here this is app start creating let's see if they have uh no they don't have it in here but i can show you in the next videos but for now let's go back to our cli and yeah our app is created this is how what you can do cd to your app wish list and after you do that you can run the command of npm run generate extension to create any extension we don't want to create an extension for now we just want to run our app so npm run dev will run our app now when we run the app it is going to ask you to um, create a new app if it is a new app and if you don't have a new app it is going to ask you um, to connect it to an existing app so for now let's select the partner account i'm not going to go with my live partner so this is going to be the partner account i'm going to use again since i'm login it is going to do if you are not login it is going to take you to the browser so you can log in and start creating the app this is going to be the app name i will press enter not going to change that and it should create the app for me once it does it is going to ask this question do you want to update the url um when you use shopify cli it is going to create um um a link for your app using cloudflare tunnels so Cloudflare Tunnel lets you create a, a public URL where Shopify can access that URL and everyone can access it if you send that URL to them. And when it creates that, it should update those link in the app setting. So let's click yes for now. We will check out the app creation in the back end too, but for now this is how it works. Once you do it, all you have to do is just grab this URL, this is the preview URL and open it in a browser. I'll come here and open the app. This is the app that I have. Now, once you have the app, you have to know which uh, store you want to install this. Currently, we have this store and we don't have it in any, any other store, so we can click install. And this is going to have this scope. The scope is like this information will be accessed to this app and it is going to install it. I think a lot of people in create this type of app, uh, which is inspired, followed by this number means they have a lot of other app like this. And yeah, that's it. Your app is done, and this is the basic template for your app. So it these are the things that have been used. The framework is Remix, database is Prisma, and interface is Polaris, and then it has API with the GraphQL API. We will talk more about them in details and how the app structure is in the dashboard where you can uh, change the URL, change the icon, change the app name in the next videos. But for now, this is how you can create an app using Shopify CLI. So uh, that's it. And in the next video, we will talk more about the structure of the app. And yeah, 
Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.